Ladies and gentlemen, right now, please give your attention to two young sports women who have just discovered rugby and love it. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Rohini Balram and Miss Shivnita Shetty. Firstly, I'd like to thank the School of Social Sciences and Arts for uh, giving the opportunity to me to uh, share my narrative um, to the chief guest and the distinguished guests. I remember clearly as my memories of Fiji's blue tropical skies, desiring to raise my hands for the school's track events until I heard the lies. Frail, short, Indian girl was the brand that I was tagged with. But deep down, the desire to run, I could never ditch. I ran in the fields and I ran on the road, believing that I was the fastest girl in the globe. In my childhood days, I was a goalkeeper to a pair of slippers, which stood as proud goalposts, whilst the bootless feet and fearless bodies of my male cousins scribbled, kicked, ran, and scored goals. One lucky day, I was asked to play in the field. I wasn't very good at dribbling, but I somehow managed to kick the ball very hard, and what happened after that was history. I ran so fast, and I ran so far, chasing the ball right out of the soccer field's boundary. I didn't score any goals, but from that day, I believed I was the fastest girl in the globe. I loved running. It made me feel liberated and happy. However, these skills stayed in a defined space, as neither my parents nor my PE teachers were encouraging. Despite knowing that I was a strong runner, I never put myself out there in the school athletics track events. The fear of being teased and given labels was too overwhelming. I just did my own five kilometer run each morning before school. Migrating to Australia in 2009 exposed me to a new culture and opportunities. I started lifting weights, running long distances, and completed my certification and became a gym instructor. Last year, during a gym session in Fiji, I failed to do a chin-up, and a male trainer bluntly told me that my fitness level was zero. I was so upset, and the evil Rohini in me wanted to ask me, can you run 22 kilometers? I was judged on the spot, not sure if it was my race, my gender, or my size. Failure to do a chin-up doesn't determine my stamina, speed, strength, and endurance needed for a half Marathon, the belief that Indo-Fijian women can't be athletic has become such a cliche in Fiji. My athletic saga has been one of pain, alienation, and exclusion. It is passion alone that has kept the love for running and fitness alive in me. Today, I still face challenges of social norms and I'm placed in a marginalized group. However, I am proud to be amongst a handful of athletic Indo-Fijian women who rise beyond such hurdles. Running and fitness is very close to my heart and is part of my identity. A lot of my friends just call me happy fit and that speaks volumes. Running has added meaning to my life and has helped me develop in terms of leadership skills, self-esteem, academic performance, physical fitness and productivity and better health. I might look frail and small, but I was born to run. I will not let people tell me that my race, gender, color, religion, and size matter. Thank you. Mr. Wesali Serebi, Mr. Rocky Khan, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm greetings to you all. I am grateful for the opportunity given to me to be part of this extraordinary panel we have in front of us. Sports is a great equalizer, and as the legendary Nelson Mandela said many years ago, and I quote, Sports has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that nothing else can." Unquote. Sports is a universal bridge which creates love and harmony amongst different religions and cultures. From a very young age, I have been very active and participating in regular sporting and recreational activities. Coming from an Indo-Fijian background, where females are usually shy and not very much active in sports, I stand here to give credit and thank my parents 
who have been very supportive and encouraging me to take part in sports. I have been actively involved in athletics, netball and volleyball from my primary school days and continued it when I was a graduate student at USP. In fact, I have been very passionate about rugby and being introduced to rugby through Miss Yoko was really exciting. I really enjoyed the training sessions we had with the Fiji Rugby Union trainer and the girls. I personally feel that Indo-Fijian girls face many obstacles in pursuing sports. Girls in sports may experience bullying, social isolation, negative performance evaluations, less encouragement as well as less support from families. Encouraging young women to keep playing sports takes a conscious effort on the part of parents, teachers and coaches. Role models such as us play an important and integral part in terms of inspiring our families and friends to be active and be actively involved in sports. By setting an example, empowering them to participate and making sports participation a priority in our own schedule, girls will have a better shot at staying involved in sports they love well into the teenage years and even beyond. Once again, it is an honor to be here today. One of my favorite quotes is from Gandhi that says, be the change that you wish to see in the world. And for me, that is one of the changes I wish to see in this world. I thank you for all uh, I thank you all for your attention and uh, wish everyone an enjoyable <coughs> evening. Binaka. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Rohini Balram and Ms. Shivnita Shetty.